um, American Standard. Um, looks like an air conditioner, but it's actually a heat pump. And um, if you wanted to age a heat pump or an air conditioning unit or a hot water tank, use the serial number right there. I take a picture of all of the manufacturing plates. And you go to buildingcenter.org. This is a fantastic website. You have to pick the manufacturer out of this list. And it's Heritage 11. No, nah, that doesn't sound right. Uh, it's American Standard. So you go back. American Standard is right there. So let's go back. Yeah, so we have four numbers followed by four letters and the serial number, not the model number. Go back here. Uh, the first number is the year. Well, I have a four, so it's 2004. So I can tell my client exactly how old that heat pump is. Our refrigerant line, suction line, uh, insulated well, goes through the foundation wall. Um, the electric disconnect is in, within sight. That's good. Uh, thermostat, heat pump interior unit, that's the evaporator. I can see a few things from 10 feet away. I know this is, a, this is not a gas-fired unit, it's electric. Um, there's actually an electric line going into it to the heating element. Uh, there's my refrigerant lines going in. I have a condensate line with a trap, that's good, is draining away. I have ductwork, and I can see by the orientation, it, airflow goes like this. I'm expecting an air filter down here, and air comes up through the evaporator, gets heated or cooled, and then is supplied that way. And I'm looking at all the joints. Sometimes if I can, I'll take this part off, pull this front off, pull this off, look at something, maybe the evaporator, maybe the, um, some other components inside, and take a look on the inside of the unit if I can. If you don't know how to inspect a heat pump system, this InterNACHI has an online course, how to inspect HVAC systems, and there's a whole chapter on heat pumps. Heating cycle and cooling cycle, the types of heat pumps, air source, ground source, water source, the cycles, the heating cycle, the cooling cycle, the defrost cycle, the interior heating element, the compressor, a typical defrost cycle, and causes of frost. There's a serial number, manufacturing number, we can look it up again. Um, I know some of you, like in Texas, uh, you're required to test a few components and even measure the temperature, the delta T. Uh, there's a little condensate pump that charges outside. There's the air filter. I pull it out. I take a picture of the size so that my client knows what the size and location is and orientation of the air filter. Um, follow the standards of practice, and the next thing up is plumbing. There's the, the drain waste vent pipes. So when I'm in the basement in particular, um, I look above, and I'm looking for...